its sound is as haunting as it is unique. Native to Northern Australia, the didgeridoo is one of mankind's oldest musical instruments. In addition to performing, Pitts Quattrone travels the world teaching the didgeridoo. He handcrafts them as well. So this just looks like a piece of hollow wood. Is there more to it than that? Well, basically it is a piece of hollow wood or a tree branch. There's no holes on the side or anything. There's a hole in the top and in the bottom. And was it originally made by termites? Yes, termites eat out the center of a tree limb to cause that initial tunnel, and the instrument maker takes it from there to form both ends to complete the instrument. And what's the history behind the didgeridoo? The didgeridoo dates back thousands of years, between 1,500 and 40,000 years. It comes from native Australia, Aboriginal Australia, and how the didgeridoo is used traditionally around the fire at nighttime. There's one person telling a story or singing a story, and then there's a few different dancers imitating the movements of what's happening in that story. And then there's a didgeridoo player whose job it is to imitate the sounds of what's happening in the story, all nature sounds. And I like to say that the didgeridoo is the original sound effects machine. So how does one play a didgeridoo? <laughs> well, the fun starts with your lips flapping. <laughs> nice and loose and wide open. Kids are naturals. I go to schools and they get it right away. <laughs> kind of like what a tuba player does. Okay. Like a... <laughs> yeah, a flapping. <laughs> Can anyone learn to play it? Anyone can learn to play the didge. You don't need any musical background or anything. As long as you can get your lips flapping, you can get started to get that initial drone. That's your first step. Once you have that, that's your foundation. And then you can build on top of that. Why don't you give it a try? Not bad at all, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. I think I might have some competition. <laughs> Give another try. All right. <laughs> Pretty good. Can you explain the breathing technique? The breathing technique. It's a thing called circular breathing. So to play the didge, your lips are flapping. Eventually, you're going to need air to continue. So what the player does is breathe while you play. And that sounds a little tricky to keep the sound going, but it starts with your lips. And then you catch some air in your cheeks on its way out and you squeeze the cheeks. So that little burst of air keeps your lips slapping for a second. And that's your chance to breathe up your nose. One big circle, that's where the name comes from. Are there any health benefits to learning to play this? There's a lot of health benefits to playing the didgeridoo. In order to get the correct tone, you must relax. Very calm, <laughs> slows your heart rate down, slows down stress, anxiety. Good to know, thanks Pitts. You're welcome, thank you. While circular breathing is rather difficult to master, it is effective. The world record for the longest continuous note on a didgeridoo is more than 50 minutes. For Teen Kids News, I'm Luke, and I'll keep practicing.